Yemala. Good morning, everyone. My name is Daryl. I represent an organization called Spaces for Youth, and someone called me Unumlungu. Uh, I'm just from across the road. I've got the same nose as him. I've got the same hair as him. You know, so I, we be the same. Don't be confused by color. So on the third of February next week, Saturday, who knows where the Blue School is? Okay, fantastic. It's down the road. We're having what we call a youth summit. We're inviting all the youth from the 11 high schools in the community to something called Turning Point. Who would like to come on Saturday? Okay, there's five of you. But I'm going to tell you why you must come. Right, there's three people I want you to meet. There's a lady called Francine. Francine grew up in Jericho. I think it's the northwest. In a squatter camp. A one-room squatter camp with a brother, a mother, and a father. No, you don't, you don't put your hands up now, but... Maybe someone here stays in a squatter camp, right? She then moved to Joburg, worked as a domestic worker for seven years. Who wants to work as a domestic worker? Nobody. But today, she's a sales manager for a bridal company. She owns her own car. She owns her own house. So I want you to come and hear her story. Francina Murake. From Jericho, from a squatter camp, to washing dishes in someone's house, to now owning a life. But there's someone else I also want you to meet. Her name is Taryn Alberts. She grew up in El Rolo Park across the road. At the age of nine, she started to dance. Today, she dances around the world. She's a freelance international dancer. Who likes to dance? Me. Yes. So I want you to come and listen to her story. Just give me two more minutes, guys. I want you to come and listen to her story. How someone from our communities can live her dreams. Because you look around you, who's living their dreams? Not many people. So I want to expose you to people who are living their dreams, who are from the community that we love, that we grew up in, but who are now living around the world doing amazing stuff. And then lastly, there's a man called Anif Kruger. He was born in Worcester, 100 kilometers out of Cape Town. The man was born blind. He can't see. It, he, he walked from Worcester to Joburg, 1,100 kilometers blind. It took him, guess how long it took him? Eight months. Yeah. Yes, he slept underneath bridges, begged for food, right, blind. Today, he owns his own company. He's a, he's a disabled activist. He works for the Legal Blind Council in Pretoria. He catches the Hau train. So I want you to come and listen to these people speak on Saturday. Okay? If you're interested, because some of you might not, you want to watch Isi Dingo reruns, you might want to play with a soccer ball, but I'm saying come spend, it's from, from, eight, from 9 o'clock on Saturday, spend a few hours with us. Listen to these people from our communities who are doing amazing stuff around the world. Okay, come and learn. It's going to cost you. Guess how much? Because oh nothing in life is free, right? Yeah. 10 rand. Uh. Now who doesn't have 10 rand now? No. It's fine, it's fine. You've got 6 days to get 10 rand. Who knows someone with a car? Yeah, what? Well, Vehicle. Transport, transport. So you can, guys, I'm finishing, I'm finishing. So you guys, ask someone if you can wash their car for 10 rand. Polish shoes, wash dishes, help someone here at, at the shop, right? Carry their bags. Get a one rand today, a one rand tomorrow, a two rand on Wednesday. Yes, it's how bad you want it. 10 rand. And I want to make you, and you can listen to these people speak. Okay? I hope to see you all on Saturday, 9 o'clock, the Blue School. And if you remember, tell a friend because they might forget. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.